Hello, my friend. Welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Ruby Pumps. Dorothy who, I'm not lying, You Are Beautiful 02 for Jennifer. I've started off with this You Are Beautiful 02 plate. I'm going to use this image. I'm starting a little differently this time because I'm going to make some reverse stamping. I'll be using this On the Black by Brave Steve at a stamp with and a couple of stampers from Born Pretty and AliExpress. Nope, Maniology, sorry. And I'm just going to plop off two of these images so that I can fill them in for some reversed stamping. So excited. Jennifer asked me a while back to use Ruby Pumps and a manicure, and it just took me a little while to get to it. Here it is for you, girlfriend. You guys know I love, 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 love Ruby Pumps. And I was working on this one in my mind. I wanted to do something different, something like I'd never done before using my beloved Ruby Pumps. So both of these images have picked up really well. And here is beautiful China Glaze Ruby Pumps. And then here is Dorothy Who. My camera's not showing y'all, but the blue one's Dorothy Who and the ruby one's definitely ruby pumps. So I'm just going to put some dots out on my mat here of these. I'm going to start off with the blue, Dorothy Who, and I'm going to use a tiny little detailing brush to fill in some of the circles, not all of them. You know, I'm, I saw something in my head, so we're going to go for it today. I love these polishes. Um, just, um, I'm a junkie for the glitter, and these are so glittery, gorgeous, that I just want to play with them all the time. But Dorothy Who is um, like the sister or cousin polish to Ruby Pumps, so I knew I had to have that one many, many years ago. When I saw it, I had to have it, and I do love it. I'm just going to go in and I'm filling in the little center circles with the blue. And now we're going to break open Ruby Pumps. This is my fifth bottle of Ruby Pumps. Fifth. And considering how much other polish I have and use, it's amazing I've used up that many bottles of this. But it is a favorite. I use it for all sorts of holidays and just whenever, like today, I'm using it for it's Jennifer Day as far as I'm concerned because I'm doing this one for my friend Jennifer and um, I, I love it I just think it's the perfect glitter bomb it's got the micro glitters though it's not chunky it's just so it's a seductive polish for me I guess that's what I'm trying to get to this one has seduced me and um, it's been a love affair going on for years and years so Enough about that. Let's move on. So now I'm going in and I'm kind of wrapping around the Dorothy Who with the Ruby Pumps. And I'm just filling in that next circle. Because I'm doing two accent nails. I'm going to paint two nails with Ruby, I mean three nails with Ruby Pumps. I'm going to do my thumb, my pointer, and my pinky. And I'm going to just leave them alone. They're just going to be Ruby Pumps. And then I'm going to put these decals on my other two nails. Can't wait to show you all what I have seen in my head. Because this one, I think, actually did turn out like I hoped it would. They don't always do that. So when they do, I'm always really happy. I'm going to flip this over and check it out. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to do the other one off camera, and I'm going to let them dry. And while they're drying, I'm going to use my Dainty Digits Glitter Be Gone and start applying Ruby Pumps. Gosh, gorgeous. And this one's also by China Glaze, and it's called I'm Not Lying. So we're going to cap our free edge here. And I do it like this on this nail, but then on the next nail, I do it like in the old days the way I used to do it. And so I'm still getting used to my new way. And my nails are very yellowed, um, just stained from polish, and I didn't do, this is my in, in the week manicure. I don't do my total cu cuticle and nail cleanup for my middle of the week manicures. I just don't have time. So I just pull the polish off and get some more back on. Did y'all see Woody sneak in there? He snuck in there and cleaned up that little bit. He's so sneaky. And now I'm going to go in with I'm Not Lying. 
This is such a pretty polish. Oh my goodness. I have no idea what collection it came from, but it is stunning. And the formula on it is so good. So, so good. You can see it's dried over on my ring finger, and it does dry a little bit textured. So, if you're wearing this one and you don't like texture, you might want to use some Jealous or some, you know, nice thick top coat. Maybe a couple of layers of it to smooth that out. But it is stunning. And here we go with that second coat of Ruby Pumps. Love it. <laughs> See, I'm loving it. Doing the happy dance over there with my fingers. And then a second coat of I'm Not Lying. And this gold is kind of like a gold, but it's got other colors in it. I can't even describe it. Hopefully you'll be able to see on my swatch photo. I am going to top this one with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Get it to dry down so that we can, you know, do the rest of the manicure. But I definitely want to dry, dry up those ruby pump nails so I don't bump them and mess them up. I want them covered and protected. Woody's back for more. There he goes. There we go. You can tell the difference between my middle nail and my ring finger. It's already that that one layer of top coat is already changing this manicure. I didn't use the jealous because I knew I was going to be doing that reverse stamping image over these two nails. So I wanted to just see how it was going to go. Capping that free edge. There we go. And if you hear that bong, 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 that's Cotton coming in and out of his pet door. He's, it's a beautiful day outside, and he is just in and out and in and out. Hi, Woody, back again, making my messes go away. Look at that. It's, oh, see, I could wear it just like that, but I'm not because I had plans. So, ugh. I'm going to use the Get a Grip base coat from Vibrant Vinyls. I'm going to do a very, very thin layer of this on the two gold nails to get my um, reverse stamping decals to stick really well. I don't want them things going anywhere. Now those decals probably had about 20 or 30 minutes to dry. They're totally dry. They're not crunchy, but they are dry. Um, now we're going to apply them. Here we go. So using the stamper, I just mushed them down, and I'm making sure that they're sticking really well. Yes. Now the magic for these will be when I put that top coat on, so just hang on. We're going to get there. I am trying to figure out how to get this. I didn't want them exactly placed exactly the same way on both nails, so we fiddle them with it. Doing some more tap, tap, tapping to make sure they're stuck. Very good. Now I'm going to go in with my little cuticle pusher tool thing here and just kind of trim off some of this excess. I'm not, I know it looks like I'm really pushing, but I'm not, I promise I'm not damaging my fingers or cuticles or anything. I'm very careful with this tool. It's not super sharp. I'm sure you could hurt yourself with it, but I am always very, very careful with it. There we go. It's working really well for taking care of this decal today. And I am so, so excited about this one. Thank you, Jennifer, for the request. You made me, you know, get out of my box and do something different. I am going in with a cleanup brush and some acetone with acetone additive and cleaning up around these nails. Not too bad. Very minimal cleanup, I think. Trying to get that little piece down in that corner there. It's making me crazy. So there we go, without top coat. Here we go, look at that. You can see the top coat on that middle nail. It looks so gorgeous. And here goes the magic. Love this. This is my favorite part. Well, wearing it was my favorite part. I really, really enjoyed wearing this one. Do not want to take it off. It's gonna have to come off though. So I would like to hear what you think about my manicure. I have a swatch photo coming up soon. Leave me a comment down below. I love talking with you. I want to thank you for watching and as always be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.